All right, guys, Kevin Louis with Louisiana Snake ID on Facebook, LA Snake Boys with a Z on YouTube here again. Um, now we're testing the Snake Away granules. First impression, they smell a lot like mothballs because they contain a large portion of the same active ingredients in mothballs. Mothballs, as many people know or may not know, are illegal to put outside just to put on the ground like people say to do, throw them out or keep snakes out of your yard because they're toxic. Uh, why are they toxic? Because as they get wet from the rain, They'll start seeping into the water and the groundwater, which um, you get small bugs in there, then you get fish that eat them, frogs that eat them, then cats eat the frogs, and sometimes dogs eat it. It's just not safe for the environment, and it ends up causing a lot more harm than it, than it can help. And I'm going to put this down real quick. So what we got here is a rat snake. This is a western rat snake, and we have a ribbon snake. Uh, we're doing them both at the same time because I'm running out of daylight, as you can clearly tell. So what we're going to do is we're going to set them down. There's a perimeter, about a two foot radius of the snake away here, and then around this kind of raked out area, there are two bands that this says to put down, bands of the granules. So you put two bands about six inches apart down there. You maybe can see the granules on the ground. The white specks on the ground is all the way around where we're standing right now. So what, in theory, what we're giving the snakes a chance to do is to go around in a circle if they truly are bothered by the scent or head straight out if they couldn't care less. Um, so again, in the middle is the higher concentrated area where they're sprinkled, and then we have two bands. So as she pans back out, I'm gonna we're gonna set them down. There's a river snake right about there. The rat snake right here. And see if they do anything. We're kind of back up and give them a little space. River snake straight out of the uh, out of the snake away granules went right over. River snakes are very active, so it's gonna be kind of one of those. It's hard to see. We're gonna do it multiple times. You could have gone that way. It's right in the middle of the, 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 the uh, radius we have there, about two foot radius. Now he turned away from us, and he's going straight out the perimeter of the snake away over there. He could go in a circle all the way around. He's choosing not to because they don't smell. They just they taste the air, the scent doesn't bother them. It's the same thing we had the uh, same re results with the uh, mothballs. They smell horrible. I can smell it right now where I'm standing. We can all smell it, but the snakes don't care. This guy's not moving at all. Let's see if I can get him to move around a little more. Just. He's bunched up and they'll, they'll do that sometimes. Um, <laughs> let's see if I can get you to be a little more active, dude. Um, all right, now I'm gonna set you down. Now that you're moving, see if you'll move. We got a perimeter here, we got a circle here. He could go all the way around in a circle if he was, if he really didn't like the scent of it. Let's see what he does. Right now he's heading towards me and the perimeter. He's on top of the snake way right now. He's going straight through it, okay? So what I'm gonna do this time, I'm gonna set him down facing it, you can go left or right um, and completely avoid the snake away, but let's see what he does on that one. Alright, buddy, you see. These guys are very elusive, so i got to keep a good eye on him. Alright, so snake away over here. Nothing behind us, nothing with me, nothing left to right. Let's see what he chooses to do. I'm going to set him facing it on purpose. That's what I'm trying to do, because I want him to smell it. If it's a horrible smell, he'll just not go inside of it. Right now, he's in the snake away right now. He's going through snake away. There's granules all right here. And he can go inside this room. I'm gonna set him down again. So that time he did go in the snake away, but he stayed on the outer edge of it. Um, but I think he probably saw that tree and was wanting to get out. So I'm gonna put him a little further away from that tree. Let's see if he chooses any other options. Are you ready, buddy? That one is going that way. Get the ribbon snake. You watch the ribbon snake. I got the rest of He's just, he's looking right now, he's camouflaged. So he's like, you know what, I'm better camouflage here. And he climbed my leg earlier. I think my leg's a tree. <laughs> so it's very likely he might just climb up on me. So, I'm not, not a threat to him because I've held him a few times. I'm going to set him on this side of the snake away. Snake away runs right here. And there's an end all the way around this. I'm going to set him down right at the perimeter. He smells it. He'll turn away. Right, he's in the snake away now. He's inside of the safe zone right now. So if he stays, technically he should go in a circle around the bottle if he doesn't want anything to do with the snake away. He is approaching the snake away granules and he's going right over them. It's impossible with animals to get it exactly, you know, and keep they're so unpredictable, but I want them to be unpredictable with this. So I'm just trying to show you that the scent of the mothball slash snake away has nothing to do with it. One last time, 
He's in the perimeter. I understand that because the people complained last time was I had him inside a perimeter. He is in a perimeter, but he has a snake, a snake away free area he could go in. Or he can go into it or he can go around it in this way. So I'm going to see what he does. He could technically go on a circle and be okay. And he's choosing to head towards the snake away right now. The outer perimeter. He's right through it. Do you know where the ribbon snake is? He's in my pocket. Okay. <laughs> All right, guys. We're running out of daylight, so I'll be short on this one. So today we've tested uh, the snake away granules and the liquid because these are very readily available products, okay? Um, this one's got more of a pungent smell like the mothballs, the granules does. The liquid smells more like a very garlicky crawfish or seafood boil. Um, it's just got a very strong smell. Even when we're not near it, I could smell it a little while ago. We tested it on two diamondback water snakes. There will be pictures of those. They're very docile snakes. They don't move very often, very fast, unless they're in the water. So we did test them, and we've uh, documented what they did. I don't have them on video just because a lot of times when I set them down, even if there's nothing around, they'll just sit still. So... This is a, a, a non-venomous rat snake, a very common snake that's often killed. Um, they are, um, like I said, very common all around the southern snake. This is a red, ribbon snake. Let's get them in here real quick. All right, there's a ribbon snake, a very active snake. There's no wonder reason why we use them. Both of these are non-venomous. Um, but like I said, uh, with our page, we educate people on snakes. We educate people on keeping snakes away from people so they don't get killed. And if this product worked, I would tell everybody about it. I would say, hey, use this product, and then that way we can keep snakes safe. But it doesn't work because they don't work with the scent that people say they do. Um, again, all right, guys. Uh, one more thing I do want to mention on the snake away and with mothballs, they're chemicals, right? So you got to be very careful with how you handle them. We follow the directions specifically. Um, it's not something you want to get on your bare skin. We put it down with gloves on. Same thing with the mothballs. We didn't let it touch our skin. Um, these snakes are going to be rinsed off, get them a good like soaking in some water to make sure nothing stays on them. Um, but the reason we test these products is we want to make sure if they worked, we would let people know because our goal is to keep snakes from getting killed. And these products won't do anything because snakes don't even know they're there. They really just go over them like there's nothing there because that's just how their bodies are built. Now, it may, like I said about the liquid, it may keep rodents out. It may uh, keep away... Uh, the food source for the, the snakes, but at the same time, it's not safe for everything else because it could kill a lot of um, the ecosystem with the different animals, right? If, if something eats the frogs, the frogs can get the, the cat sick, uh, or, or a bird drinks the water, and something eats the bird, that will get sick as well. So um, check us out on Facebook at Louisiana Snake ID. Follow us on YouTube at LA Snake Boys with a Z. Uh, again, uh, this is us. This is what we do. We love snakes, and we want to keep them safe. Thanks, guys.